I am a super host on Airbnb and I have hosted over 389 guests. These are actual people who left reviews on my profile. I am also listed on booking.com and VRBO and I have reviews for those websites. So I have pretty good experience on the hosting experience as well as for the guest experience. These are tips or advice for hosting and what hosts should know before inviting guests to stay over. So these are guests who are gonna stay the night with you, okay? So number one is give them good directions to getting to your place. I use WhatsApp all the time and I really love it because you can not only share your location with your friends and family for hours, you can do one hour or eight hours and then you can see them arriving at your house. So number two is tell them the username and Wi-Fi password for them to arrive at your door. They might not have cell phone reception and at least they can pick up the Wi-Fi from the front door and communicate with you when they have arrived. Number three is cleanliness. This is super important. Just put yourself in their shoes. If they were walking in, would you want them to see all of your clutter everywhere? The more you can open your space, the more they will feel welcome. Usually when people come in, they have a backpack, a suitcase, a jacket, a purse, they have shoes. So when they come in, maybe have a chair there for them to take their shoes off. In your guest room, I would recommend putting a hook on the walls. It's just so nice if you have a purse or a backpack or a coat to just be able to hang it somewhere so you don't have it sitting on the chair or on the desk where you could be using that space. It's also super important to have lots of space in the closet for their things. And I also have plenty of hangers for them to hang their clothes or jackets. We don't have a drawer set here in the house. So instead, I actually use this basket. So if they wanna put socks or underwear in here, they can do that and then they can fold up their pants and put them on the shelf right here. This is also something you can do. You can leave an extra blanket in the closet and that might help if they do want to take this down maybe and have it on the couch downstairs. Some people put towels on the bed. Some people put them in the bathroom. I leave them here in the closet stacked like this. One towel here with a hand towel on top. This is an extra hand towel and then I keep two bath towels right here on the bottom. So they have three per stay, and usually that's enough for their visit, but if they need more towels, they can just ask. Of course, you will want a bed of some sort with some nice, comfortable pillows. I always have four pillows to a bed, and unless it's a twin bed, then I would only have two. I just keep this blanket at the end of the bed just in case they get cold. Number four is food, snacks. Some people leave baskets full of snacks. In the kitchen, in the pantry, I'll leave a jar full of nuts. I usually buy in bulk and then I will put them in separate jars. And I leave things for them to cook. So if they wanna cook some eggs, for example, it's really helpful if there's salt and pepper in the pantry because those things you don't wanna pick up at the store. They usually sell them in bulk at the store and you only need it for a few days. Also, in the morning, are they gonna be drinking coffee? I know I will, I love coffee. Do you have a grinder for the beans? Do you have a way to make it? Is there a coffee maker? Is there a pour over? Is there a French press? And then usually people like cream with their coffee. Do you have creamer in the fridge? Do they like to sweeten it, so maybe you might have some honey or some sugar or some sugar alternative, something to nibble on. I know I cannot drink coffee unless I have something in my stomach. So that's why I would recommend just some snacks in the pantry, like some nuts or maybe some oatmeal packets, maybe little cookies or something like that. So number five is gifts like you can do a fresh bouquet of flowers, leave some drinks for them in the fridge, whatever. There's a lot of ways that you can get very creative with gift giving. Now this is something totally optional, but I'm leaving a gift here for them because they're super special to me. And I wrapped it with Trader Joe's uh, paper wrapping because I don't 
like buying wrapping paper. I think it's a waste. So number six is lighting. Lighting is very important. You want to set the mood for just relaxation and them being able to read a book if they want to. So leaving a light next to the bed maybe so that they can read. Or I have these LED candles. It requires two AA batteries, but what I love about these candles is there's no mess. There's no risk for fire hazard. And I can also use a remote control to set a timer on them here around 6 or 7 p.m. It'll go on for the next six hours, so to about midnight or one. This is like a hands-free way of me setting the mood and the lighting. Okay, here's the candles. So these are birch candles, but um, it wiggles just a little bit and it leaves a really soft and cozy lighting in the room and the space. Number seven is letting your guests know how to get drinking water. So here at, in our city, the drinking water is potable from the sink. So you wouldn't get sick if you drink from the sink. I like alkaline water, so I have an alkaline filter. You can have like a Berkey or you might have a filter set on your fridge, which is what we have at our guest house. And most people carry their own water bottles and they like to fill them up. So I don't leave the plastic bottles in each room because of plastic consumption. So laundry, I always offer my guests to do laundry at any time they wish. I show them where the detergent is, where the washer and dryer is. So fresh sheets, I don't change sheets every day. I usually just wait until the end of their stay. Usually they're staying for two or three nights. I haven't had anybody stay past a week, but if they have, then I would offer them a fresh change of sheets. Number nine is I write out an itinerary of things to do, things to see, and places to eat. And this is just for, in case we need some sort of idea of things to do, I will have a list of my favorite places and that I want to show them. But of course, I'm more of like a go with the flow type of person and see what they wanna do in case they're like, okay, what do I do? I wanna see this city, show me the best of the best. Then I can have this list to fall back on that I've already researched prior. So I don't really have to do that homework while they're here. I already have it ready to go. Also, if you're an Airbnb host, uh, you can create your own guidebook through the Airbnb app. If you ever want to sign up for Airbnb and rent out your space, be sure to use our link and then you also get some money for being a host through our link. So be sure to check that out in our description box if you're thinking about signing up. Today, I'm gonna to talk about number 10, which is being ready for the unexpected. So our guests staying with us right now, we went to the trampoline park because their daughter, who's a toddler, she's two and a half, she really wanted to go to the trampoline park. I think there was an accident where one person jumped into someone's square at the same time and I think she sprained her ankle. It's one of those unfortunate things where you have to get medical attention and so I gave her an ice pad, I looked up online how to cure a twisted ankle. I twisted my ankle several years back so I had forgotten. So ice pack. Um, leave it lifted up and possibly she would need to go to the um, urgent care to do an x-ray and see if she broke it or if she needs a cast or something like that. Where I'm going with this is if you have people staying with you, just be there for them. Show them that you care. Show them that you're willing to do whatever it takes to make them feel comfortable because they're in your home. They don't know how it is and so just be there for them really make them feel welcome and taken care of in your home well i hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up you can also subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell too to be notified of the very next video take care we'll see you in the next video Bye bye